So yeah, the drone is flying again. To tell you the background of the crash, I gave my Lamborghini to some Hamburg rappers because they wanted to do a music video with it. I was kind of bored because I didn't have anything to do and it took a while. And they did their stuff there and rapping and everything like that. So I took out my drone and I was flying around a little bit. Unfortunately, there were some trees and the Mavic Pro, as you might know, oh, it's drifting away. Come back. Yeah, that's better. And as you might know, the Mavic Pro doesn't have sensors to the back. So it has some sensors to the front. So when something is in front of you, it automatically stops. But it doesn't have any sensors to the back. I don't know what exactly happened or why I flew the drone like it. But I flew backwards a little bit too fast. Then there was a tree and I panicked because suddenly the drone was directly in the tree. I should have just flew the drone back out because it was just standing within the tree without touching anything but what I did oh the battery is empty now huh. so I flew the drone in the tree and it was just standing there so what I did I panicked and I pushed the left joystick and moved it up luckily it just got stuck it was just hanging in this tree it didn't fell down so what we did, we took some uh, some stuff like, I don't know, whatever we had and threw it at the tree so the drone fall down. But it got really stuck in there and yeah, we couldn't do anything. It took us like 10 minutes. I just stood the whole time underneath the tree and waiting for the drone to fall down. Luckily, at, at some point, the drone fell down and I catched it. So the drone is perfectly okay again. Three of the rotors broke. But I don't think they broke when the drone crashed into the tree. They broke when I catched it. But it's okay. I mean, the rotors just cost like five euros. So that's not a big deal. I ordered them and now the drone is back in the air. I had some other issues after the crash. It's sad that the gimbal was um, experiencing weird vibrations. And after checking the drone, I, I flew with the drone, took the footage normally so everything was okay. But from time to time the video was kind of um, shaking, like in a weird way. The controller told me that there's something wrong with it. And I checked it a little bit and found that the gimbal was not correctly placed inside the case. Oh, I have to land it. Oh, it will land on its own, I don't know how much. Oh, 18%, it's at 18%. Let me go back. Let's see when it returns. It should return on its own, just like five meters where it lands. Um, so it was just, it look, everything looked kind of normal, but there was something where I figured that that might be wrong. And so I had to move the gimbal a little bit and everything was perfect again. I was kind of lucky. Next time when there are trees, I will definitely be more careful. So I learned something from it. <laughs> the drone is amazing. Like now again, how it is in the air and hopefully filming me perfectly. Yeah. Looks quite good. Um, so next time I will be more careful. I'm really looking forward to take some footage in the mountains and some other videos. I really love that thing. So now it's landing, let's see. Okay, actually I thought it would return automatically to the point where it started and that was there. Um, but now it just landed here, which is okay as well. Yeah, thanks for watching. There will be a lot more videos to come with the drone, with the cars and please subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching.